Well, welcome, everybody. We're so excited to be with you this evening with our very, very special guest, you know, to actually have uh, esteemed neurosurgeon to take time out of his busy day. I can't imagine what his days might, must be like to be partnering with us and Cardi Miracle and being there for every single one of you, your questions, helping with answers. We're so blessed, Dr. Avery, to have you on the call with us this evening um, and truly appreciate the insight, um, the intelligence, the fortitude, and just the educational process that you've been able to bring to Cardio Miracle. So again, I speak for our entire team. Thank you once again. Oh, thank you, Lisa. It's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor. I'm uh, just uh, grateful to represent and to learn about such an amazing product, right? It's an amazing superfood. And it, it's, I mean, it's, it's miraculous. It's a miracle. And especially uh, as I look at the brain and the cerebrovascular side of things. So just a little bit of background about me. I'm Avery Jackson, as was mentioned, a neurosurgeon. So I do brain and spine surgery, mostly spine, which is typical of most neurosurgeons. I've been in practice for 24 years, done about 10,000 surgeries over that time, um, and varied surgeries, uh, peripheral nerves, spine, brain tumors, uh, aneurysms, brain hemorrhages, strokes, uh, and the like. And so being involved in Cardio Miracle is, is really interesting because now I can see how you can repair vasculature uh, in a sense, um, you can support it and ultimately aid uh, or uh, support your own body's repair of the vasculature versus uh, surgical clipping or surgical uh, procedures that I do kind of plumbing, if you will, of the brain and spine. So it's, it's a wonderful, thanks for having me. Oh, this is fantastic. You know, and then one of the first questions that we always get from people are, you know, how does cardio miracle affect the brain? So maybe we'll start there. Yeah. So in terms of, uh, how does cardio miracle affect the brain? So a whole host of reasons. So I could talk on this for like an hour, but let's see if I can cram this in, in like to one minute or two. So one of the, the biggest advantages of Cardio Miracle is its unique way that it provides um, and supports sustained activated nitric oxide. And what nitric oxide does is it actually heals the lining of the blood vessels in the brain and the rest of the entire body. So for me, it's a game changer. When I look at um, when there's a stroke, you know, there are two types of strokes. There's a bland stroke, which you can see in someone who has a clot somewhere in their brain and then they're weak on one side or their face is droopy. And then there is a, a, a wet or hemorrhagic stroke in the brain in which um, the there's a, a clot or blockage. And then there's a increased blood pressure that blows that clot away and the tissue around the clotted area is kind of kind of dying. And so then there's bleeding or hemorrhage into the brain. And so first and foremost, this nitric oxide and repairing of the endothelium or the inside layer of the blood vessel is key to prevent both types of strokes, okay? So when you make that endothelial lining stronger, you make the tissues come together, which again, this the L-arginine and nitric oxide in Cardio Miracle will help to support your body's ability to heal itself. So that's what really what it does in a nutshell. But you can imagine all of the different processes that affect the brain. Most of those are because of blood flow and, and the Cardio Miracle will address those over time. Isn't it just remarkable the first couple of times that we spoke about Cardio Miracle and how John, you know, in his infinite wisdom, he said it was a download from the Lord, but truly how he's been able to put this product together because so many of the products that, you know, they didn't, especially the nutrition, nutrient delivery systems do not cross the blood brain barrier and either in a bad way, right. And can carry toxins and chemicals into the brain. But that was so exciting the first time I heard you explaining really how the product works intracranial. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. We do have a quick question here. 
Um, and we always say on our calls that we don't treat, care, or diagnose. We're just helping guide people, guiding people to nutritional solutions to their current challenges because the body knows exactly what to do um, with nutrition if we give it what it needs. So this one is, if you have side effects from COVID, mRNA, will this help repair damages either from the vaccine or virus aftermath? And, and the answer is yes, because again, the issues uh, that are, uh, are at stake here is your inflammatory pathways in your body will increase. There's more inflammation and that inflammation leads to damage over time. So with the Cardio Miracle, it will affect the nitric oxide and the arginine pathways, but also will downregulate the uh, inflammatory pathways that lead to a lot of these problems. And there's a couple of papers that uh, Cardio Miracle, um, uh, you know, speaks uh, speaks about, and 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 uh, it's just fascinating. And so, one of those papers uh, really gets into some of the mechanisms of how unique Cardio Miracle is in terms of its overall blend. So, together, these um, these nutrients are synergistic; they help each other, and and ultimately help in in terms of decreasing. Uh, overall inflammation, and again, supporting your body's ability to address inflammation, and uh, and is is a huge part of of of, of that pathway. Here's another question: um, Is uh, are we making are we working on making the taste of Cardio Miracle even better? And the answer is yes. So the new formula tastes great. Uh, it's uh, to me it it reminds me of more of a Kool Aid. Um, for my younger, my, my youth, um, like a cherry Kool-Aid type flavor. Mm. And so, and I actually, it actually smells good when I take the two scoops. So you, you should ideally two scoops go in water twice a day. Sometimes you can do more, but usually two scoops. And so when you put the scoops in, you kind of get that, uh, the, that powder taste before you actually drink it. And so, and I like that. I think it's really cool. So um, yeah, but the answer is yes. Well, one thing about John Healy, you can be assured, is that he's always striving for better and good is not good enough. So that's kind of exciting to be on this ride with him. The other thing I wanted to share with you to encourage you, you know, my mother had um, COVID, she's 85, and she had a quite, it was quite severe. And she ended up with the top parts of her fingers were all white, very cold. And that ended up for months until she started on the Cardi Miracle product and they pinked up right away. Within three days, she said, I can't believe how warm my arm, my, my, my hands are and that the whiteness had gone away. So I just want to encourage you um, for sure. And don't be afraid to take more of the product. You know, if you might be in a situation where you're saying, um, I'm not achieving the goals that I'm I would like to with the product, um, go ahead and take more. Like Dr. Ravery and Dr. Judy Mikevich says all the time, we're just talking about food, folks, and it's the best food on the planet. One other question here was, um, I had a heart attack, two strokes. My blood pressure won't go down. I am on a third bag, uh, just stare, Ted, I'm not sure what that is, three days ago, six coops still on BP meds help. So can I just give a really quick testimonial? I love taking the blood pressure questions because I'm a walking, talking testimonial of that. The reason I'm involved in Cardi Miracle was because not only after meeting John and understanding what his product could do to the overall system, life is in the blood, right? Nitric oxide was always difficult to obtain a really good source that stayed in your body and remained it in it over a period of time. Uh, but I had malignant hypertension. I wasn't even aware of it. And Dr. Avery, we talk about that, how sometimes we have no idea what's really going on with our body because we run through life a million miles an hour. So with that being said, I had a little bit of a headache. I felt kind of funky. <laughs> I was introduced to Cardi Miracle and my blood pressure is 210 over 110. That's very high. And I had no idea that it was that high. So I started taking the Cardi Miracle at that time. Uh, we had the bigger scoops. I want to remind everybody, um, one serving is two of the little scoops. So if you're doing two servings a day, you're doing four of the little scoops. At that time, it was the bigger scoops. I did six a day for three days. By the fourth day, I increased my water. Um, didn't really do anything else different. Um, and by the, by the fourth day, I reduced it to four scoops a day for four servings, servings a day because I was finding that my blood pressure was going down. So to this day, I remain on about four servings a day and I'm doing very well on it. So I just want to encourage you, um, 
the, the individual that asked that question, don't be afraid to take more, be kinder to yourself. And Dr. Avery always talks about really taking more water with the product because water is really important. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, the, you can, you can definitely uh, go with more scoops as needed. It's, uh, it's bioavailable. It's going to just help support your system. Again, it's food, right? It's great food. It, in, it yeah. enhances nitric oxide bioavailability, which is absolutely amazing when we're talking about some of these issues, dilates the blood vessels, which is great for increased blood pressure or when you have uh, uh, hypertension, um, it just dilates the blood vessels. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. But what happens when you eat good food? What happens when you eat um, uh, certain green leafy vegetables, right? I mean, you know, it, some of the components that are in Cardio Miracle are also in these, uh, these food sources. And that's where um, uh, we get these, um, these components, some of these components. And so it's, uh, it's a good thing to do. And you really can't overdo it. You can't overdo uh, good food and supporting your, your systems. The next question, Dr. Avery was, um, do you, my wife has cerebral amyloid angiopathy. She had yeah. COVID. We have not been vaccinated. She has lost taste and smell and, uh, like she did in 2020. Are you seeing CAA in your practice? Found one paper, um, that associated with that. She yeah. has lost her short-term memory and is tearful and anxious. Yeah, and so first of all, um, cerebral amyloid angiopathy is uh, yes, it is something that uh, that that I do see, and um, it's basically protein deposits in the the brain and the blood vessels of the brain, and so um, and that can cause uh, decreased blood flow, and it can restrict the oxygen in your in your in your brain, and so ultimately that can affect memory. So in your brain, in the hippocampus, on um, both sides of your brain, that's where the area of your brain that processes memory. And so it's very sensitive, that area, to insults of decreased um, uh, oxygen. So nitric oxide and the cardio miracle blend uh, really helps to make sure that you're getting um, the oxygen that you need the um, and the, the uh, blood flow as the, it's repairing the vascular uh, wall or lining of the blood vessels and it's reducing what's called oxidative stress, right? So all of that's key to uh, repairing that area. And ultimately that really does make a difference. Um, and, and I've seen some differences uh, in memory uh, after, after using it and so have others. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. The next question, um, I also had a triple bypass. I still have same as you 200. So maybe this is a question about blood pressure. I'm not really sure. Um, but I would, again, don't be afraid to take more of the product. You know what was interesting? I don't know if any of you um, are old timers like me, but way back in the day, you know, a, a good cholesterol was over 300, believe it or not. And so we have gotten in the situation where not only people are blaming heart disease and blood pressure on cholesterol and couldn't be farther from the truth. Isn't it an inflammatory process, Dr. Avery? completely agree. And their studies, the original studies actually, uh, it turns out on the, the whole cholesterol th uh, theory were actually debunked. So now we understand that roughly 10 to 20% of your cholesterol actually comes from outside sources, number one. And number two, you know, your body makes cholesterol, like for instance, as a neurosurgeon, cholesterol is used to build your brain. Your brain is yeah. made out of cholesterol. Yeah. So, so it's not a bad thing at all. Now the issue is how do you feel? Um, and so you have to look at your overall health and Cardio Miracle plays an, a major role in that because it dilates the blood vessels. Important, it repairs the, the, um, the destroyed or the affected wall lining of your blood vessels. And that's where those plaques build up. It's because there's deterioration of the blood vessel lining, which could be either traumatic uh, in terms of there was an injury radiation, it could even be emotional trauma actually causes increased uh, inflammation. And these are called cytokines in your blood and the nitric oxide and the L-arginine and some of the other ingredients in Cardio Miracle are really helpful in uh, changing those equations and balances in your, in your body and ultimately promotes healing of that kind of destroyed uh, the wall of your blood vessels leading to all those problems. So the good news is uh, 
taking this cardio miracle is uh, it's it's benign, it is organic, and it actually cleans and strengthens the walls and the lining of your blood vessels. And it does this in a non-mechanical way. So again, really amazing. It's it's uh, it's it's uh, very different than than the mindset of of surgeons, um, but it's it's uh, it's extremely helpful, especially uh, in those scenarios as well. Isn't this exciting though? I hope everybody is understanding. This is giving you hope. You know, our team calls it hope in the glass. But that's so exciting that we're able to have this. You know, have these very fluid conversations, and you can get your questions answered. Because again, if you're just talking about food, I mean, right now the big push is making America healthy again. I cannot imagine a better product than what we have. Um, so let's see what was the other questions we have here. So, so if you could, I I have one here in the okay. Q and A. So this question is, I've just learned about how helpful food grade hydrogen peroxide can be. Can they be taken together or do they? Do you think that they should be kept separate? So a couple of things. Remember, it's kind of like asking the question of, um, if I'm using hydrogen peroxide food grade, and by the way, we know that uh, many of your oxidative uh, sources like vitamin C um, will ultimately uh, convert uh, to hydrogen peroxide in your body, hydrogen peroxide, is one is part of the redox equation in your body. So you're balancing always between oxidative state, which breaks down tissue, especially dead tissue, and um, and and you know, and these other states. And so when you're an, an antioxidant states build. So you need both, right? Just like you need that for bones, for instance, you have two states in your bones, one breaks down bone and one builds bone, and both are important. Um, and so with that being said. Um, just think of it like this. You're taking a food, you're making sure that you get you can get all the, the food source that you need to support your entire metabolic system. That would be cardio miracle. And then anything else on top of that, like uh, peroxide um, that's being used, hydrogen peroxide, uh, is completely fine because it's almost like you're going to still eat around the times or at some point during the day when you use your hydrogen peroxide, right? So think of it like that. It's just you're eating and you're still uh, intaking those food sources, but it's just really good food. That's fantastic. Um, any evidence of help with post-concussion, uh, dizziness and brain fog? Great question. So again, I, you know, just hats off to our founder, you know, John Hewlett. He's always pushing the envelope in challenging himself and challenging Cardio Miracle. And so he uh, had a concern for our, our vets and for our uh, sports uh, athletes and others and said, you know, there's a growing issue with, uh, with post-traumatic uh, stresses disorders and PTSD and TBI, traumatic brain injuries. So he actually um, uh, there's a paper that was performed, um, and in combat stress, it was just published June, 2024 and in combat stress talked about how the, these elements in cardio miracle, especially the nitric oxide, the L arginine, the citrulline, that what they do is they promote and strengthen parts of your brain that ultimately will affect, uh, anxiety so that you're relaxing. It will decrease the, um, your, your uh, inflammatory pathways. And when that happens, your brain can then do what it needs to do to repair the damaged brain tissue. So it, you know, it works in concert with your system. And this paper from June, 2024, Combat Stress kind of uh, explains that. That's amazing. So again, all those people out there, you know, we, we think about all the youngsters these days. I just want to watch my, my nephew play football and they get banged around so much, you know, and, but what, what people don't understand too, is the brain can heal itself, right. Over a period of time. That's exactly right. God has given us nutrients. Yes. God has given us um, stem cells, right. And those, there's a study done looking at uh, an older and younger population um, because people wondered how come the older population seems to have more con uh, um, uh, degenerative brain disease issues like Alzheimer's and memory and so forth? And so the hypothesis was, 
it's because of the fact that there are more stem cells in the brain in an old in a younger person than an older person and stem cells literally replace dead brain tissue okay and it turns out in in a, this particular study they they took two groups of people younger group and older group that neither one of them had any chronic diseases they both passed suddenly both groups then they looked at their brains under um, a, a microscope and found that they had the same number of stem cells populations in both it turns out that the answer wasn't the number of stem cells the answer was the blood flow the younger mm -hmm. population had better blood flow and better quality of blood flow compared to the older population. So their stem cells that helped to repair damaged tissues weren't activated. They were in sleep mode versus the younger population, right? So here we go again. That's why the cardio miracle is so important because it addresses your the blood flow and building of that, um, that uh a process of nitric oxide and uh, L-arginine, and it's an amazing pathway. And that's what leads then to your stem cells getting what they need so that they can be awake and function optimally, all right? So it's a, it's a wonderful environment. Um, and that study really uh, uh, proved to me uh, why uh, Cardio Miracle is so valuable in people both young and old, but especially when we get into these, a lot of these brain issues, um, we really want to make sure that we can support our own God-given ability to repair damaged tissue. But I, and to that point, I just want to remind everybody, you know, we, we look at um, an illness or a condition or a situation, and we immediately go to pharmaceuticals. That's been the, the realm of things. Um, and so let's say if, with a head injury, for instance, um, you might take some medication to help maybe with the swelling, uh, maybe the pain, maybe some NSAIDs, whatever that might be. But what is interesting is we need to also be eating right at the same time. So the challenge is we our food, food sources are so debilitating to the body that if we continue going down this road, that's why I'm excited about the upcoming opportunity that we have with our new president and so on. But, but truly, we have to be mindful of, yes, even though you might be taking some medications, what has been the problem for so many years is that we don't fulfill the body's need for nutrition. So we're loading up the pharmaceuticals, the body's breaking down, and we don't have anything that's building it up again. So if you're sitting here this evening and you're trying to think about, you know, it's overwhelming to try to eat right, just make sure you're taking your cardio miracle. And There's if, if 700 I... nutrients and over 50, um, 58 ingredients now. So this is so exciting. It takes all the all the pain and the curiosity and, and stress of trying to eat right at the same time. If I could, uh, you know, uh, Lisa wanted to also add that think about it this way. Um, even when I prescribe a medication or, or what have you, it's based on that my results are based on whether I have I'm dealing with good or bad substrate. So when you're when you optimize uh, by supporting with a good food source, all of your systems then your systems can do what they need to do, right? And so your food is medicine, it really is. Amen. And yep. And to that end, uh, one of the questions here is, uh, does it clear plaque from the veins and is it proven to lower blood pressure? Or how long would it take? So depends on the, it depends on the person um, in terms of how long, but what it does without question, nitric oxide and the L-arginine that this not only provides, but also helps your body continue to produce it and in a sustained activated fashion dilates the blood vessels so you're going to lower blood pressure and as we said that nitric oxide l-arginine pathway as that is supported and 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 uh, cardio miracle does that as that is supported that process back and forth through the cell the wall of your arteries and veins then that causes repair Okay, it clears and, and and it causes just kind of a healing, and that's what uh what these um you know these food sources do, right? And so again, it's it's just good food, and when you have good food, these are the effects that we've seen um, in the lab as well as as well as in in people. The other question: um, Will Cardio Miracle help an ALS patient? So again, you know. What I what I'm learning now, especially post COVID, is is that 
we have many diagnoses, but oftentimes we're describing the symptoms. And another issue is, is that root causes oftentimes aren't necessarily looked at at a subcellular level, okay? So for instance, you know, if you have high blood pressure, I'm gonna put you on a, um, you know, a medication to lower your blood pressure, but am I asking the question, what happens across the endovascular wall where there are all of these um, exchanges that affect your entire body, okay, including your inflammatory pathways and so your inflammation. And so again, to that end, I would say that it will support uh, their system. And so I think it's going to help in some way um, because oftentimes uh, people with um, um, you know, ALS, uh, have degeneration of parts of their brain and especially their motor pathways. And so you want to be able to make sure you're optimizing all of those systems by making sure you have good food and good nu nutrition, uh, that gets to those, those systems and pathways. Uh, here's another question. And that is, um, uh, my five-year-old daughter has epilepsy. Can Carter Miracle possibly help? too young uh, to take. So the good news is, is uh, Cardio Miracle, um, we've had uh, children use Cardio Miracle and it's been, it's been wonderful for them. Um, it actually stabilizes sugar. Um, and, and there was a, a, a paper out that we had uh, with Cardio Miracle from, uh, from 2023 uh, 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 and how it uh, how it affects sugar and how it affects your gluc your insulin and your pancreas and so it's absolutely amazing it's gentle why because it's a food and so it's just like giving your kids uh, collard greens and giving your kids um, you know broccoli and so forth and so it's it's completely fine I'm I'm a huge fan of Cardio Miracle uh, in in kids as well. If I can say something to that, you know, if we looked at what is in the Gatorade, not to go up against the Gatorade company, Coca-Cola company, but truly, if you look at the ingredients, most of them have high fructose corn syrup and our kids are guzzling all this stuff all the time. You know, our dream is to have this in the hand of all the children that are out there, you know, not only doing sports, but on a day to day basis. So that's really exciting for us. And can I, and if I could add to Lisa and the kids, so we see the childhood diabetes is going up and through the roof. Yes. And, and yes. that's why this paper uh, in Frontiers in Nutrition um, talked about what Cardio Miracle showed, what Cardio Miracle is doing in regulating sugar, in increasing um, uh, sensitivity to insulin. And, uh, and you can actually use Cardio Miracle when you're on a fast. Uh, intermittent fast, it does not bump the sugars. It's absolutely amazing. And so again, for all of the kids out there who have these ch this childhood diabetes, the, the cardio miracle can really help stabilize a lot of that. Um, and so something I would strongly recommend. That's fantastic. One other question is, so are my vessels cleaning out now that I'm taking cardio miracle and will this help keeping them from strokes, high um, heart attacks and future and lower blood pressure with letting, um, increasing your cardio miracle. I guess I want to also stress to that question. We can't give the impression that we can prevent, treat, or diagnose, <clears throat> but if it were me, I'll let Dr. Avery answer that, excuse me, <clears throat> but yeah. truly it is just taking great nutrition. Um, and I know it's movement and error are equally as important in hydration. That's right. And you're, you're absolutely right. And so again, Lisa's exactly right. I mean, it's nutrition is vital. It's key. And in, unfortunately in medical school, we didn't have very much education in nutrition. Um, other practitioners had more, but I think that's one of the things now that we're starting to really lean into is that if, when people have a, a, an amazing diet that supports these healing processes in our bodies, uh, it makes a huge difference. And so, um, so again, I would encourage uh, the cardio miracle. We know what, again, what it can do across the vascular uh, walls. We've seen what it can do to reduce oxidative stress. So inflammation and all the, all the, the uh, factors that can damage uh, blood vessels. Uh, the Malinsky study from 20 December, 2020, 
is absolutely amazing out of Ohio, if, if anyone um, uh, would like to read that. Uh, but in terms of it talks about what nitric oxide does, and then specifically what, um, how nitric oxide is stabilized in Cardio Miracle. And so what some findings from Dr. Malinsky from that. But again, that deals with the whole cardiac side of things. And even one step further, it actually uh, has been shown to support blood flow everywhere, including in the genitalia. So for people who have ED, it, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really something to think about, right? You wanna make sure that your body has good blood flow dynamics throughout the brain all the way down to the toes. And this is a, a natural way to support that entire vascular tree by having uh, a food source, a superfood, Cardio Miracle, uh, at least twice a day, two scoops uh, in, in water. That's great. Um, question, do we still take vitamins with D? Uh, do we still take vitamins with it? If, if I could, and the answer is, what, what I would suggest is, uh, is again, look, take a look at the Cardio Miracle. You can go to the website and you can look at the ingredients and any supplement, any vitamin that would have uh, the same uh, ingre similar ingredients, to me, it would make sense in terms of the cost, as well as the struggle of, of taking, you know, 80 pills plus Cardio Miracle. I mean, I'm, I've, I've cut out a lot of supplements and vitamins because Cardio Miracle has them. And I've been really impressed by vitamin D. It has activated vitamin D in its 400% recommended daily allowance of vitamin D. And so remember, vitamin D is a hormone and it functions to affect all of your other hormones throughout your body, your bones, your brain. Um, it's another one of those amazing um, uh, substances that are in our bodies and in Cardio Miracle uh, really supports that entire process of activated vitamin D and especially in, in states where we have uh, low sun. Uh, you really want as much activated vitamin D as you can for repairing, uh, again, brain, uh, brain plaques. Um, again, it doesn't repair. It supports your body's reparative processes. That's what the science shows. Okay. And it's, and I'm all about the science. And so, and that, that answers a question. And if I could, the question is, does this help plaque in brain atherosclerosis? And again, when you break plaque down in the in, in brain or in any blood vessels, plaque accumulates because the inside wall of the blood vessels gets kind of torn up, beat up. And so when you, when you support that process of the nitric oxide and L-arginine, L-citrulline going across that vas vessel uh, back and forth across the uh, lining of the blood vessel, that leads to repair, that leads to decreased inflammation. And ultimately that does affect plaque, um, you know, because plaque has to stick to a blood vessel wall that's got uh, a lot of pits in it, if you will. And, um, and so again, it, you know, this is it's just wonderful to have a food source. And actually, if I could say a fast food um, that, that does what it does, <laughs> yeah. Because when we think of fast food, right? We think, okay, this is gonna be garbage. I, I need it because it's quick. And, and we're in this fast food society. But now here's an answer, everybody, to all those people that say, I'm on the run and I don't have time to eat some gourmet meal that has all the nutrition in it. Well, right. Cardio Miracle is that gourmet meal. And you can take it on the, on the go. Lisa travels all over. I travel all over. I can take these in packs. And, you know, I'll take that uh, 250 cc bottle of water crack it open and then I can pour the cardio miracle right in it, shake it up. And, and that's a, that's a meal or a meal supplement right there. And I do that all day. It gives me a ton of energy and so extremely helpful. And so I just want to encourage you all that when you're supporting your health in terms of good nutrition and in terms of good fast food, which is this nitric oxide uh, uh, supporting a cardio miracle. I mean, it's worth it. It's worth, it's so much worth the cost. I can't even tell you um, how much of a joke it is for me to even think about what I, I would be paying for cardio miracle a month versus the bills of having strokes or the bills of taking, you know, you know, doing all these other things that I would do. I'd rather just support my 
systems at first, at least with just good, uh, good food and water. There's That's a, go ahead. A, there's another question here. Um, could you talk a, a bit? Uh, the question is, could you talk a bit about neuropathy in the feet and legs? Uh, thank you. I'm thoroughly enjoying this webinar. Thank you for your time and expertise. Oh, you're, you're welcome. So, so neuropathy is basically um, noise, extra noise that's in your, um, your, your nerves, your sensory fibers, your nerves. And so the nerves that go from say your feet or legs or wherever you have the neuropathy, the noise is there's so much noise that when that signal goes up your spine to your brain, there's a, a burning stinging pain. And that's oftentimes because of those sugars that we have um, will affect that process, right? So we just mentioned how Cardio Miracle in, in several of these studies affect, uh, it lowers, not only lowers um, the overall um, uh, sugar uh, effect in your body and your nerves, but it, it also uh, causes something called autophagy. So it will literally uh, eat up all of uh, the tissues that are causing more noise around the nerves and in your body. And so that's also a plus. And again, it stabilizes your sugars by, um, by increasing your sensitivity to your natural insulin and in your pancreas. And, and there are just some scientific studies that kind of show that that's what a good food is supposed to do. And Cardio Miracle is that good food and so, so this is, is what it does. So I hope that answered your, uh, your question about neuropathy. One thing that's super exciting is now we have available the ability for you with your insurance. If you have a HSA and a S FSA, please uh, submit this to your insurance companies. This is a really big deal. Um, Dr. Avery and I are working on a couple other things to make it easier for your doctors to say, you know, way to go. Um, but yeah, that's, that's exciting. Um, the other question was, can Cardi Miracle help support my numb fingers? Uh, and now that, and get them working again in less than 24 hours, this product is a miracle. I've been on it for five months now. I've taken all of my vitamins away and take Cardi Miracle and all my vitamins and take Cardi Miracle now. I have more energy, better sleep. I'm staying on this product for the rest of my life. I'm so happy. I take... I take, okay, that's fantastic. So again, I was mentioning in the beginning what happened to my mom's, you know, her her fingers and how they went from white to pink. That's really exciting. And I do encourage everyone, do a really, take a moment. Um, I did that when I started Cardi Miracle. I took all of my nutrition and I was like a nutritional hoarder. I had so many bottles and potions and motions that I was taking and I put it on my table and I checked on, I wrote down the milligrams that I was taking of all the other products. And then I looked on the outer casing um, the ingredient list. And I looked at everything that was in the Cardi Miracle and I eliminated everything. The only thing that I do, I know we talked about this before, and there was a question about krill oil, um, omega oil, by all means, if you have a really good source of organic toxic free, um, oil, you know, omega oil, it's very important for your brain. And then most of us do protein or collagen or something of that nature. Um, but literally there's so much in this product that you'll be surprised. Uh, another, another question here is, uh, well, there's, um, uh, what about gallbladder and stone? So again, the gallbladder, uh, requires blood flow to function. It requires a certain level of oxygen. Oftentimes we see that when people are, are, uh, dehydrated, that you can develop gallstones. If there are, uh, chronic infections, if there are other, scenarios that uh that make your uh your your system more likely to form those those uh, gallstones you know that can be a problem so again having appropriate nitric oxide l-arginine and, and all of the other uh great components for good overall body wellness body metabolism is so important and and i think it, it makes sense i mean think about it if you could start with good food source that's quick, that tastes good, that encourages water, you drinking water first, um, you know, why wouldn't you do that, right? I mean, th the risks are so low other than you're being thoughtful about, uh, about a good food source that you're, you're intaking. So in, in my, my opinion, 
and I, I tell all my patients, you know, you've got to take care of yourself. You have to get your sleep. You have to get your water. You have to get your exercise and you really have to work on a good diet. And so uh, all my patients, if, if I could, I'd have every patient uh, in the world take this as a, just a first line support of your overall health, your metabolic health, your vascular health uh, in general. And I would make sure that there it's consistent at minimum two scoops twice a day in water. And, uh, and I would stay with that regimen, you know, well, indefinitely, um, and then kind of go from there because you'll be surprised that when you, when, when you have good food and that good food supports your, your immune system, it decreases inflammatory process. It helps with the blood flow in your brain and all your organs. I mean, things are going to change and, and for the better. And again, it's, it's a shame that nowadays our, there's toxins in the air, there are toxins in the, uh, in our soil. So even when we do have organic plants, um, and plant food sources, they may not be what they were a hundred years ago. We know they're not even the level of copper, what have you. Um, and so again, it's really important to be protective of, of what we intake. And I think it's worth it, uh, for yourself and to do yourself a favor and your family to make sure that at minimum you're getting these uh, uh, vital uh, nutrients. That's awesome. I mean, seriously, when you guys think about this, isn't this exciting? You're going to leave this call and go, you know what? I'm just re-engaged and reinvigorated by all the information that you're receiving from this brilliant doctor. We're so honored to have him on our team. Um, there is a question about a bypass six years ago, how many times a day do I need to take Cardi Miracle each day to have the best results? And again, minimum uh, two times, two scoops twice a day. Uh, if you feel like you need three, go for it, um, minimum. And here's uh, another question. Can Cardi Miracle help with brain bleeds? And so when you look at uh, the, 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 there's a paper um that is in, in pharmacogenetic research. And I'm just, I'm reading this actually right here, right now. Um, and it's, uh, it's the Malinsky study. And, and what's interesting about that study is it goes into great detail about what happens across that blood brain uh, barrier and also regarding the blood in general, uh, the blood vessels in general. And so my point is it has such an amazing effect that of course, why do you have a blood a blood breed? Normally you bleed because the blood vessel wall is needs repair. It's either it's because there's some damage to it or there's plaque on it. And so the blood vessel wall decreases in its strength, right? So this will help to, again, it supports your body's ability to keep it strong and healthy by having the right, this, the right food sources. And so that's what's uh, seen here. There's a question about migraines, Avery. Yeah. And maybe you can explain what a migraine is. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions about a migraine versus a regular headache or cluster headache or something of that nature. Yeah. So for migraine, um, there's there there's a couple a couple of types. What the unusual presentation of migraines are basilar migraines. So in the the brain stem area, basilar migraines uh, can actually cause. Uh, some weakness in the face or even in, in, in uh, the body, uh, along with a uh, headache. And then there's the standard kind of headache migraines that uh, can come on and be a bit more severe than typical uh, headaches. So first and foremost, there is a theory um, about the serotonin flow um, and, and, and how serotonin uh, levels can, can affect migraines, okay? Well, if you look at the platelets, your platelets are the sticky components in your blood that 94% of serotonin is actually carried on your platelets, which is really fascinating. So how do you get more platelets to where they need to be? Well, the nitric oxide L-arginine will uh, help to dilate the blood vessels and help with the blood flow, make it smoother and get that blood flow to the microcirculation of your brain. So you're getting platelets with the blood that has serotonin on it, that's now getting to where it needs to go, okay? And, and so again, this is makes it makes your systems more bioavailable and that can be a huge help in headaches. 
Um, also, of course, uh, the migraines, the stress, water uh, is key, sleep is key. Um, watch things like smoking. Um, you know, uh, that's a, you know, anything that's going to cause more toxins creates inflammation in your body. And when I say inflammation, you know, it's not just, oh, I've got aches in my knuckles. We're talking about tumor necrosis factor and IL-1, IL-6. So kind of the bad actors that have a, a small role to play, but ultimately if they're not put out or, or they're not regulated, they can go on to cause uh, havoc in terms all in all over your body your brain is is also included in that that's fantastic there's a question about uh end stage alzheimer's yep so again you know the thing is so to that point the question is how can this help with end stage alzheimer's does it repair and reverse this so Again, we one of the things is this is a it's a nutrition. So we're not gonna we're not gonna say diagnose, treat, cure, but 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 Alzheimer's is kind of type three diabetes. All right. We there are two different there were two different um, thoughts uh, or pathways into uh, causes of Alzheimer's and other cognitive uh, brain disorders or degenerative brain disorders. And the pathway that seems to be coming, becoming more prevalent is, uh, is the metabolic pathway so that your metabolism, when it's not working well, um, when the sugars go up, when there's more inflammation, that leads to more Alzheimer's or other cognitive degenerate, degenerative disorders. So given that fact, why don't we take um, a quality food source that's going to also stabilize and help to regulate my sugars and help to uh, in the reparative process by getting more blood flow to where it needs to be, more of the nutrition where it needs to be, more of the arginine, L-arginine and citrulline to where they need to be along with the nitric oxide and especially the brain. All right. Super important. And I also mentioned about that study earlier in our in our discussion here is that blood flow was found to be key in activating our own innate neurostem cells and the neurostem cells help in repair when there's damaged tissue. Right. So all of this supports that entire process. And it's good food that does that. And it's good fast food being cardio miracle. So one of the questions that I was just sent was, how does Cardio Miracle help the brain at rest? Well, okay, great. So one of the things that we look at is our um, our cerebral metabolic rate, CMRO2 and oxygenation. And so, you know, there's a resting state for our metabolism in our brains, um, in our cells, in our brains, and especially the interaction with those, the microcirculation, the blood vessels in our brains. And so at rest, you want to make sure that your, your brain blood uh, flow is optimized. You want to make sure those blood vessels are dilated, that they're healthy, um, that they're not clogged, and that they're, they have all the nutrition flowing through your brain. And so this is the way to do that. Again, it's to have something that's so compact that you can take twice a day, two scoops twice a day in water, wherever you go and get that nutrition is absolutely amazing. And I'll tell you a quick story for me as a neurosurgeon, you know, sometimes I'm standing in the operating room for, for hours, six hours, eight hours, uh, even longer. And in prior to uh, Cardio Miracle, I would get cramps in my calves and I go on the Cardio Miracle and within, I don't know, maybe a week or, or so, my cramps went away because it, it increased the blood flow. And ever since then, it's, I've not had that problem again. So if it works on my calves for blood flow and muscles, because I was using those in standing, it definitely works on your brain, especially with the increased metabolic rate as you're thinking and as you're sleeping. And so again, I, I'd urge that there's a paper also in combat stress that was put out in 2024 that uh, supports and shows what Cardio Miracle does in anxiety that can break down uh, the, the blood vessel wall and also in physical trauma to your brain. 
So again, in resting state, based on what we see in that in the literature in 2024 combat stress, uh, it has a it plays a huge huge role in supporting uh, that uh, reparative process in your brain and your microvascular circulation in your brain. Well, also we we are we are embarking upon this amazing um, clinical study with Dr. Avery and myself and the Cardi Miracle team. It's been so fun. One of the things that we were doing the intake, this one gentleman shared with us. I might have shared it on the other call, but he said, "Will will Cardi Miracle replace the uh, the energy drink, the Red Bull that I'm drinking every morning?" He said he would have a Red Bull underneath his pillow because he couldn't wake up in the morning. And, you know, we all chuckle at that, but really the reality is that how many people in America are living like that? They need so much stimuli to get out of bed in the morning. And what is interesting is we had another individual share with us that if they took, when they took the Cardi Miracle at night, before they went to bed, they woke up in the morning, they didn't have fogginess of the brain. They had, they felt like they were, you know, firing all cylinders and they just started their day out with a bang. So that was really encouraging. So if you know somebody that's having a really difficult time, maybe awakening in the morning, maybe stress is getting to them, what have you, um, try it at night, you know, because the brain does flush and detoxify at night as well. And um, I thought that was just so exciting because many times we tell people not to take nutrition at night because it might act as a stimulant, but I think we have enough adaptogens in the product that will help to adapt to whatever situations, you know, you're in your thoughts. I completely agree. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's making sure that you have what you need to optimize your, your brain health and your overall health. And again, this is different, right? This isn't a stimulant, right? an artificial stimulant. No coffee, this... and no caffeine, no yep. sugar. Yeah. That's right. No caffeine, no sugar. So it's not an artificial stimulant. Uh, beets um, are, are an amazing, um, you know, they give you an amazing boost. But again, when you're, when you have food, good food, it works with your body. Right? So there's a balance there. And I really appreciate that. And it's kind of like the redox reaction that we have in our bodies in terms of oxidation and reduction, right? There's a balance. And this, uh, this food source helps to support that entire balance. That's fantastic. There's another question here. Um, my blood vessels are large due to having supported large uh, ovarian tumors. Can cardiomericum heal these very large blood vessels? So again, just to, just to clarify, so we're, we're not, we won't claim that we're treating or healing Correct. or curing or diagnosing. But, ha but having said that, we have uh, studies uh, looking at what happens uh, in the uh, in the, the vasculature wall uh, that becomes thin, it becomes cracked um, when you don't have the nutrients you need, when you don't have the L-arginine that's being provided and produced and supported, and you don't have nitric oxide in the right volumes. Um, L-arginine, it's an amino acid, it's not essential, but it can become essential um, when you are in, uh, in, in the high state of, of uh, needing um, uh, for repair of those blood vessels. So long story short is, is that I believe that based on the science that we have here in front of us and what we've seen in many, many people, um, it's going to help to strengthen your overall vascular function uh, and, and support that the structure of your blood vessels just by its very nature. That's fantastic. There was a question about chia seeds, and uh, you mentioned that you uh, mix the chia seeds in with distilled water and cardamom. The one thing we have to be careful of is if I, if it were me, and I know you've heard this many times, is don't mix a cardio miracle in with protein. Um, and collagen is a protein, so you want to take them at least a half hour, hour separate from one another because they fight for the same space. Um, other than that, you can pretty well mix it with just about anything. Right. And here's another question. Can you live on Cardio Miracle with no added food? I'm having high blood sugar. And when I eat it, it goes extremely high. Um, when I take Cardio Miracle and no other food, stay regulated. Mm -hmm. um, it, well, so he here's the thing. The, uh, the, the study from 2023, Frontiers in Nutrition, um, looked at what happens to people's sugar uh, and other processes in their body with cardio miracle um, in, in, in a simulated fashion and found that it lowered 
uh, your glycemic index overall in terms of sugar. What's fascinating with that is, is that you can perform a fast on Cardio Miracle, and, and many of us have, and it's actually a very pleasant fast compared to yeah. some Amazing. of the other fasts because at least it tastes yeah. good and it doesn't bump your sugars. So I would say for sure, you know, keep the Cardio Miracle going. We know that that's not bumping uh, your sugars and it's going to only help support your system. Um, regarding kind of what you eat in terms of besides that, you know, you might want to take a look, a look there, but at least we know that the cardio miracle isn't bumping, isn't bumping sugars based on its mechanism of action. That's fantastic. You know, I can't believe it's been an hour already. Dr. Avery, I know that you have to get on another call. My gracious, your days are so full. Thank you so much. Um, don't, for, don't forget, everybody, we do this every two weeks. So mark it on your calendars. We'll be big, back with you again. Have different guests from time to time. And again, I just truly appreciate each and every one of you. I know that I speak for the whole Cardi Miracle team that we love you. Um, we truly appreciate uh, you sharing the Cardi Miracle message. You know, making America healthy again has been our goal from the very beginning and I know a dream of John Hewlett so thank you everybody thank you Dr. Avery Jackson and uh, we truly appreciate the time that you spent with us this evening thank you Lisa it's a pleasure pleasure to meet all of you god bless everybody god bless you